Okay, today we're going to be looking at probability of arrangements. So we've got two different scenarios here. So my fruit salad is a combination of apples, grapes, and bananas. It, we don't care what order the fruits are in. They could be bananas, grapes, apples, or it could be grapes, apples, and bananas. It's the same fruit salad. So you're going to, let's look at the next one. I also have a combination of the safe that is 472. Now we do care about the order. 724 would not work, nor would 247. It has to be exactly 472. So these are two different kinds of combinations. If the order doesn't matter, then it is a combination like a fruit salad. So that's the kind of arrangement that it would be. It's a, called a combination because it doesn't really matter what order it is. It's all combined together. If the order does matter, it's called a permutation, like the lock. So we should really call this a permutation lock, not a combination lock. Because remember, permutation is an ordered combination to where the order does matter. So to kind of help remember about it, think permutation and position where the position is important and they both start with P's. Let's look at some examples. Okay, so solving for combinations, you can do a list, you can make a tree diagram, you can multiply your choices, or you could find your factorial functions. The last one you'll do much more in as you get older, in the higher grade levels. All right, our first example has got the four different pizza toppings, mushrooms, pepperoni, onions, and sausage. So, um, Chandra is making pizza for dinner, and the table shows how many different, or the list, I guess, how many different toppings that she can use. How many different combinations of two toppings are possible? So you could make a list, or you could multiply one less than the number of number, and then every number below that. So, for example, you could do, I just did the first letter of each of the toppings. So MP for mushroom pepperoni, MO for mushroom onion, MS for mushroom sausage. So then I'm going to go to the pepperonis. Well, I've already used pepperoni and mushroom, so I won't have that one again. So I have pepperonis and onions, or pepperonis and sausage. So then I'm going to go to the onion. I've already did onions and pepperonis, so I can't count that one again. I've already done onions and mushrooms, so I can't count that one again. So I have onions with sausage. All right, I've already done sausage with all three of the other ones, so we are done. So our list gives us six combinations. Or I could go, there's four total, so it would be three le one less than the total, and three times two times one, which is six combinations. All right, let's look at another example. It says, how many pizzas can you make with choices of thick or thin crust and either cheese or pepperoni toppings. So on this one, you could do a tree diagram, but they don't really care what they are. So you, I would just make a list, or you could do it mathematically. Either way would work. So your options don't matter. So you can just multiply together. So you've got two types of crust, and you've got two different types of um, toppings, cheese and pepperoni. So two times two gives you four different options. All right, let's look at the last one. Would you go ahead and pause the between in this one before you answer it and solve it on your paper? All right, so it says, how many sandwich combinations of turkey, chicken, or tuna salad, white or whole wheat bread can, we, can be made? And what are those sandwiches? So this one, it wants to know how many there can be, but it also wants to know what are them. What are those? And so... I would do a tree diagram. I could multiply, but you've got to have a list. So you could do a tree diagram or you could list them because it wants to know, well, what are the sandwiches? So you have white or whole wheat bread are your two options that, of the breads. And then I could have white with tuna, white with chicken, or white with turkey. Or I could have whole wheat with tuna, whole wheat with chicken, or whole wheat with turkey. This gives me a total of one, two, three, four, five, six different sandwich combinations that I could make. And then the, here are the, here's the list of what those sandwiches are. All right. That's it. So, so be sure tomorrow, go ahead and bring in the definitions for combinations and um, permutation. So you'll have to go back and look at those again. So bring those in to add to your spirals and then do a summary kind of describing what's going on in here and explain anything and um, any question that you might have. All right, see y'all tomorrow. Goodbye.